A three-year-old boy has a fever and a rash that has been ongoing for the past three days, accompanied by a sore throat. The boy has no previous medical conditions, but his parents report that his immunizations are not up to date. On exam, he has suboccipital lymphadenopathy, an immaculopapular rash seen here, which also involves his entire torso and face. His oropharyngeal exam is notable for palatal petechiae seen here. What is the likely diagnosis? This boy has rubella, also known as German measles. Rubella has an incubation period of 12 to 25 days, where people typically report having a prodrome of 1 to 5 days with symptoms including fever, headache, sore throat, and malaise. The rash classically begins as macules on the face and spreads to the trunk and extremities. Forchheimer spots are commonly associated with, but not specific to rubella, since it's often seen in other diseases. Additionally, in cases of rubella, patients will classically have suboccipital and posterior auricular lymphadenopathy. Fifth disease, also known as erythema infectiosum, is caused by parvovirus B19 and classically causes a slap cheek rash, along with a maculopapular rash. Roseola is caused by human herpes virus 6. Classically, the child will have an abrupt onset of fever with associated nonspecific symptoms, including runny nose, cough, and malaise. The fever resolves, and then a maculopapular rash appears that is most prominent on the neck, trunk, and buttocks. Chickenpox is caused by varicella zoster virus. The classic rash appears on the trunk at first and is initially macular and transitions to become vesicular. Classically, this rash appears as a lesion in various stages of healing. If you like this case and enjoy medical cases like this one, check out Clinic, which is our new subscription-based web application, where each week we present you with new clinical encounters and multiple choice questions based on a variety of medical pathology, from common disorders to the rarest diseases. Each week, your digital clinic is loaded with brand new cases, which are carefully crafted by our team members, exposing you to medical pathology you otherwise might not have had a chance to see or learn about at school or in your clinical practice. Subscribing to the Clinic app is also a great way to support this channel, allowing us to keep creating great medical educational videos, interactive software, and more medical cases like this one, for free on YouTube or at an affordable price on our website. But if you don't feel strongly about supporting us this way, that's okay. We still would like to show our appreciation to everyone who has continued to show their support for this channel over the years. And as a token of our appreciation, we've created a free collection of medical cases that you can access on our website. Just sign up for a free med school account by visiting the link in the description below. After you've successfully registered, you'll be redirected to the free collection landing page where you could add the collection to your account. And from here, you could immediately start testing your medical knowledge with the various clinical encounters found in this collection. You'll also have unlimited access to this collection so you can repeat and attempt these cases as many times as you would like forever.